Good morning, YouTube. I hope you had a wonderful week with your students. I am teacher tired today. We had back to school night last night, so um, exhausted just doesn't even cover it, but I'm getting through. I had my first class of the day. Um, it's my prep period now, so besides prepping some things for my classes, what I thought I would talk to you about is how I am using Google Calendar to help keep me organized for both my professional and my personal life. So what I want to do is talk a little bit about how I'm using Google Calendar, but also how I'm using it to help students and help support them because um, I think it's been a really great tool and I've used it so much so far this year and it's only been a week of school. So what I want to do is show you my Google Calendar and then we can talk about some of the things that I do to help keep me organized and make sure that I get everything done that I need to get done in a day. It seems like every year I tend to kind of switch up how I plan for my classes and how I plan for my personal and professional life. And so I've really established this new love of Google Calendar. And I would argue I probably kind of started this a little bit in the summer in that I was finding that I was far more um, strategic and productive when I was planning my day around some sort of routine, especially with like product creation and my consulting work. So really, I would say this started in the summer and I've just developed this habit of using Google Calendar to schedule my personal appointments, my professional appointments, and also to schedule me time, like workouts and you know anything that I wanna make sure that I get done in the day that helps to feed my soul. And I found it's been so effective. So I thought I would share this with you and my hope is that you'll be able to maybe take something back to your classroom um, or even back to your personal life. And so this video, I just wanna share some things that are working really well for me and maybe that'll hopefully inspire you. Now before I jump into how I use Google Calendar with my students and supporting my personal professional life goals, I want to talk a little bit about some of the features that I have grown to really appreciate with Google Calendar. So the first thing that has just been amazing is you are able to create many different calendars. So I create different calendars for all aspects of my life, whether it be workouts, um, whether it be tutoring, whether it be the consulting work that I'm doing now. Um, so this has been amazing. So I can see exactly where I'm spending my time and you know how much of that time I'm spending on these different tasks. It's also been transformational in helping me establish routines. So I was finding in the summer that I was feeling um, not as productive. And so one of the things that I started to do is I started to actually like map out what I was going to do in a day. And I had these blocks of time in Google Calendar that were showing like, you know, how I was going to organize my day for product creation, consulting work, etc. That was really effective in helping me keep on a schedule and get things done that I needed to get done. So the different calendar types have definitely helped to keep me a little bit more organized so I can see a nice visual representation of what I'm doing. But then I would argue one of the most amazing things is that I can share these calendars with all my different email addresses. So I have, you know, obviously an email address for school and I have an email address for MissRazChemClass.com and then I have my personal, personal email address. And so what I like so much about the calendars is that I can take all of these calendars, share them with the email addresses, and that way I have it on all my calendars. So when I make my calendar, I only have it on, for example, the one email address, but I'm able to see everything that I'm doing on my phone, for example. So as long as you share it, that allows you to be able to see everything. Obviously, you could also share your calendar if you have you know, children so they kind of know what you're doing, um, maybe with your spouse. Now, you also have the option to record tasks for you to do throughout the day in Google Calendar. I tend to not use the task feature, but it does have you know the ability to say like, oh, for example, I need to pay my quarterly taxes or I need to email this person or get this person a birthday present. You have the ability to um, record tasks that you're gonna do for the day and then you can check it off which is always very satisfying like I said I don't tend to do that too much I usually kind of keep a list um, that I handwrite but that is obviously a different option that you could do all together and then the final thing that I've been really gravitating towards is actually scheduling things that I know that I want to do and things that I want to do for me um, so for example I schedule a daily workout into my day whether that be in the morning or at night 
it. Um, I'll also schedule, for example, you know, any consulting that I'm doing or any of the tutoring that I'm doing. But, you know, there's there's the list of the nice to do and the need to do. And I would say that this year um, I've definitely been making myself a priority. And so, you know, movement has been a real big part of my year so far. And I definitely intend to keep it that way. And I definitely don't want to miss a workout. So that's why I've been using Google Calendar to make sure that I you know, schedule my day. So I say to myself, okay, this is the time that I'm going to be doing my workout. So that has been wonderful to give me peace of mind that I'm still getting something done for me. I'm scheduling me time, which is so important, especially in this job. That has really helped me to just feel in a good headspace on a daily basis. That me time has just been really essential. Now, in terms of how I'm using this to support students, you know, I would say I have a bunch of calendars that I use, one of which is the uh, school prep, student appointments, um, you know, any personal tutoring I'm doing. So there's, there's a lot that I have um, that I'm using to support students, but I would say the student appointment calendar is really for any students that want to come in for extra help. Maybe, you know, on the days that I typically don't offer extra help, I'll make a special appointment with them. Students that want to come in in the morning after school, it really doesn't matter. As long as they reach out to me, I put it on the calendar. But the other way I'm using it, which has been amazing, is for assignment interventions. So we all have students in our classes that are struggling to get the work done. And so one of the things that I've been doing is I've been using Google Calendar to simply invite those students to come in during the days that I'm here for extra help to do the work that they need to do to be successful in the class. So the assignment interventions have really helped to support students because it's very non-confrontational. I literally just send the Google Calendar invitation, it goes to their email, they click yes, right? They acknowledge it, and then I see them after school. That helps me to also keep track of what students are still struggling to get the work done and it also makes sure that I can help them before it gets to be too late. I also use Google Calendar to invite students for like you could have clubs and activities for example. So if there's like a club or something or a club meeting, you can use Google, Google Calendar to invite a whole bunch of participants. So I do have a clubs and activities section in my calendar. I also have a tutoring section. So any like extra tutoring that I'm doing outside of school, um, I you know will keep track of who I'm tutoring and when. So I am surprised at how much I'm using this, but it has just been wonderful to help me get into a routine and kind of know like, this is the point in the day that I should be working on this and prepping this activity, or I should be working on an AP chemistry this day or honors chemistry on this day, but also having the ability to kind of see exactly where I'm spending most of my time that visual has helped me to be able to budget my time better. And so um, I think this is a really valuable thing for not only teachers to use, but I would argue that this would be a valuable tool for students to use too, just kind of setting up a schedule, you know, like what are they doing as soon as they get out of school for the day? Um, you know, give them some time to think about like what's important to them, what are their goals? And then from there, they can decide how they want to set up their schedule. So I think it's been really a wonderful thing that I could also you know share with my students and if your students are struggling I would say helping them to budget their time would be a wonderful thing to support them both um, emotionally and academically so I think that's it for me right now in how I'm using Google Calendar in my classroom if you use Google Calendar for planning specifically when planning lessons I'd really love to know like how you do it and what you do um, because that is something I was kind of thinking about but I, I still am kind of sold on the, the paper planner but if you use it to plan lessons I'd love to kind of know maybe you give me some feedback in the comments down below as always thank you so much for watching this channel I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll be sure to see you guys next week